when you talk about catchers, especially with me uh, here at Pope John, we, we've always tried to have uh, one guy on the field, whether it be our catcher or be an outfielder, or be first baseman, or whatever it may be, to kind of be an extra coach um, on the field. And Alex gives us that opportunity to do that. Also, um, I always, uh, you know, I always like a good catcher that's very uh, uh, vocal, uh, very uh, a guy that's going to be able to uh, go out and talk to the pitchers the way I, the way I would want them to be talked to. You know, you, sometimes you need to go out and talk to the pitcher and tell him, hey, you need to throw strikes, or you, or you need to do X, Y, and Z. And um, and Alex brings that to the table. You know, he's just, uh, you know, he came, he didn't come here as a catcher. You know, he came here as an infielder, and uh, we converted him to be a catcher. Uh, and he's really worked very, very hard um, uh, to get himself to, as good as he is now. Um, you know, he's got a lot of more work to do if he wants to make it to the next level. You know, I think he knows that, and yet that's why he works every single day um, to make himself better. One of the best players I've ever played with, best catcher I've ever, uh, you know, to catch me. And, uh, <laughs> He calls a really good game, and he always knows what I, what I like to throw. And uh, we have a close relationship, and uh, you know, he can always calm me down when he comes out on the mound. DeBellis is not only great behind the dish, but he could also handle the bats, hitting over 500 this year. I got walked a lot this year, um, but uh, when I when I got pitches, see, I I hit him, and uh, you know, it, it's tough because you know. You, you really don't know what to expect. Um, a lot of curveballs, not too many fastballs. But uh, I just tried to take a lot of things to the right and uh, adjust to the curve. Offensively, you know, I mean, um, some teams, you know, pitch them carefully. Other teams go at them, like you know, like yesterday against Del Barton. Um, you know, and and like again, like I said yesterday, the good the good hitters rise to the occasion. Um, he definitely, you know, brings a lot of pop to our lineup. I mean, I thought I think Billy Mott. Um, I think Alex, I think Matt Teets, uh, Legal and Ackerman, you know, top of our order, um, and even Mayers and Salazzo uh, give us uh, a good opportunity to put the ball in play and, uh, and score some runs. Before coming to Pope John, Alex DeBellis was a shortstop. Freshman year, they, uh, they saw I could hit, so they wanted me in the lineup. They said um, I had a good arm, too, so they wanted me in the field somewhere. So. Um, Bobby Gill, he's at Sussex County now. Um, came from behind the plate and he played first. And, uh, you know, I just really liked catching. Uh, it was really tough at first. Um, takes a lot to get used to. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of different things about it that a lot of people don't know. And, um, you know, I, there's still a lot of things to master, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Alex is only a junior, so he will be back for Coach Bellow next season. But after that, he will attend the University of Connecticut. I actually went to two or three of their camps, and uh, Coach pulled me aside after one of the camps and just offered me right there. And I really like Connecticut. I like uh, their basketball. It's, it's a good school, not only the academics, but... Um, you know, there's other things to follow other than their baseball team. Uh, you can you watch the girls' basketball, boys' basketball. Uh, it's a really nice campus, and uh, Coach Penders is a former pro. He he was a catcher, and um, at the camps, he gave really good advice at catching, and uh, I look forward to um, other things he has to teach me.